Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another part of the Sims 3 generational challenge. So, Miss Johanna here is sleeping away. She actually should be having the baby today. However, I think she's going to have the baby pretty late, if I remember correctly. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much our only plan for the day. Hades is about to... What would he be? Generation 5? Let's see. Persephone is 1. Apollo is 2. Zeus is 3. Hades is 4. Yeah. So Generation 5 is going to be born today. Um, <clears throat> if I told you guys I had a name in mind, I don't remember the name at all. I am so sorry. I'm horrible. Um, I... I'm literally horrible. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm freaking horrible. Um... <laughs> I, it's been so long since I filmed specifically this Let's Play, but just in general, but it has been so long. Oh, I forget. He's about to turn the radio on. You're not going to be able to, uh, why are you not working out? I need him to master the hand, um, uh, uh, athletic skill. I forgot what it was called. I need him to master the athletic skill. So he's pretty much going to spend the rest of his life working out. And then, same thing with Ruby. I really need her to master the gardening and the painting. So, I think I'm going to have her paint until she finishes this, grab some food, and then work on her garden. Because I really, like, my goal with these two was for them each to master three skills. And they're not even close. Like, not even close. And then after um, athletic for Jeremy, I will have him switch over to cooking. But the teenagers are both off to school. We have such a full household. Like, it is so, like, I feel so bad for saying this, but I cannot wait for Jeremy or Ruby to die. <laughs> like, I know that's the end of this Let's Play. Also, by the way, it's going to end when they're both dead. So if just one of them dies, it's fine. Um, let's go ahead and pay the bills. Also, they're so close. They're 104 days old. And let me just take a look here. I think my lifespan is like 109. 106! 106! So technically, two days from now, they can die at any time. Oh my god, that's so sad. We only have two more guaranteed days with them. Oh my god. Okay, so he's mastered the drums, so we're going to go ahead and jam the piano what no there's no reason for you to be all the way in there you're gonna go over here i would you know what <sighs> do we do this i really want to do this i no it's our last two days with jeremy and ruby we cannot send them away for the last two days okay hold on and we are actually gonna oh my god we're actually going to do a jam session instead of the blues. Just pick up... Oh my god. Alright. You need to play this in this room. Join jam session. Stay in this room. Stay in this room. Okay, good. Um, Little Miss Juniper here is doing great. She slept really well through the night. Um, she didn't wake her parents up until they were already like ready to go. Um, I'm gonna have her just talk- no, I hate when they fucking do this. Put her in the high chair. I'm gonna have her just talk to friends, and I'm gonna have him slack off, because he's a little slacker. You are working on your skills, you are working on your skills, and you are just being a mom. Um, honestly, I feel like- can you put her in the damn high chair, please? Put her in the high chair. Now. My goodness. All right, give her food, and then you are going to eat... We have no breakfast food. I guess you're going to have some cake. And I'm pretty sure Willow knows all her skills. She better. She ages up tomorrow. Sorry, my phone just lit up, and I was like, <gasps> for why? Um, anyways, she didn't even improve her painting skill. Are you kidding me? No. You're painting until you improve your skill. Like, I'm sorry. I assumed you would improve your skill before you finished this. Also, that was a really cool painting. Low-key wish I had kept it, but it's fine. It is what it is. Um, oh, her job is as a writer. Not as a painter. Anyways, it's fine. She's already mastered the writing skill, so it doesn't matter. Um, once you improve your skill, you'll come over here and you'll have potato and truffle tort. And then you will come out here and tend your garden all day long. And then you're basically going to have time to use the bathroom and take a bath. 
All right, you will come over here and pick up Willow. And she does know all her skills, so that is awesome. I'll have you put Willow down um, upstairs. Oh, she is pretty close to getting her lifetime wish, too. I think I'm going to save until we have 50000 just so she can get her lifetime wish. And then I will go, you know, back into investing money and everything. All right, so let's put Willow down upstairs. And then I think we're going to clean the house today. Um, I really honestly have been just like ignoring the house. Oh, oh, she improved her skill. Okay, perfect. Go do your other stuff. How close are you? So close. Supposedly you're going to get it at 2 p.m. Don't know if I believe that. Um, and I think I'm going to have these two pause on their music and go out to eat. Um, so let's see. We have a master on the drums and a nine on piano. So that's great. And we have an eight on the guitar and four on the drums. So neither of them know shit about the bass. Love that. Oh, actually, he's level four on the bass. Okay, good. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know why I'm trying to explain stuff to you. You guys, I've explained it a million times. It's just because I haven't said it in a while to myself. I'm like, oh, so I have to explain again. Um, we're going to have just those two go out, have a little father-son dinner. Um, or lunch, actually. It's lunchtime. Have a little father-son lunch um, and let them just kind of do their own thing. What are you doing? Willow better be upstairs. Are you fucking kidding me? Where is Willow? Oh, do we have a housekeeper? Apparently, we have a freaking housekeeper. Didn't know that. Guess we're not cleaning the house today. Um, honestly... <sighs> JB, what should you do? I feel like she needs something. Everyone in this house either has like their job or their skills that they're passionate about. And JB really just has like being a parent. Like that's her only thing. They're so hungry. Can you give my children some food, please, school? Like, come on. Okay. Put Willow down upstairs, please. Upstairs. What is this? You want to chat with her. Well, you can't actually chat with them till they're a child, so that's annoying. Oh, sorry. I have coffee. I made a cup of coffee and then I've barely touched it today, so I have a lot of coffee to drink. Um, let's see. I want to give her something that we don't already have. Like, we have painting, writing, and gardening with Ruby. We have athletic, fishing, and cooking with, Jer oh, handiness, athletic, and cooking with Jeremy. We have the music stuff with Zeus and Apollo. So I don't really know what to do for J JB, as sad as that sounds. Um, maybe we could get her a job. Maybe she can be like a teacher. Oh my god, I could so 100% see her being a teacher. I think we'll get her a job tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think that's the play, is we'll get her a job tomorrow. Just because uh, Juniper, let's see, she's two days old, so she would have been pregnant for five, so let's go back five days. I have to go on someone who has a job. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So she would have gotten pregnant on Friday. So she would have gotten all of Monday through Friday off of work. So technically, JB shouldn't go back to work until Monday. But I think we'll get her a job tomorrow, which would make her go to work on Friday. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to do for her. Um, I know she's very family oriented, so she does want to be home with her kids. However, at that point in time, Willow will be a child, so she will be going to school and Juniper will be a toddler, um, so she'll have a- oh, actually, she'll have her grandbaby to take care of, though. Hades does not give a two Fs about his grades. Honestly, he's a B student. I'm gonna stop doing his homework. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a work call. Hold on. <sighs> okay, that was a work thing, and apparently I forgot to pause my games, so we're a little ahead of where I thought. Did you fully take care of her? Okay, yeah, she's fed and everything. Why don't you come use the bathroom, wash your hands. Um, these two, when you're done, they're going to come home together. Oh, that's right. They took the motive mobile, so now they're, like, perfect. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love that thing, but, like, simultaneously hate that thing because I don't like when their, like, needs are messed up like that. 
I don't know. Anyways, um, these two are just about done with school. I really... This is going to sound so bad. I can't wait for the baby to be born so I can kick Johanna out. Um, I honestly see this child... I don't know why she stopped coming home. I honestly see this child, and this is gonna sound so bad because I love Hades, but I see him being abandoned, him or her, I don't know. I just say him because that's what comes naturally to me. I see this child, did you master the athletic skill? Bitch, I swear to God. Work out until your skill improves. You are so effing close. And what about you? She said, screw my garden. Screw my garden. I have to pee. Oh my god. Oh my god. These sims are going to be the freaking death of me. No, 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 no. Where are you? He's still... No! Get out! What are you doing? Why are you going back to getting drinks? Go here with Apollo. You guys need to come home. Okay. My goodness. JB, I really don't know what you should do. <laughs> I have no idea. Do whatever you want. I don't care. I really do not care. I know that's so bad, but I do not care. Do your homework. Hades, where are you? No. Why don't you prank the school? Like, you're probably still at school. Oh my god, it sounded like someone just opened my door. I don't like that. Um, we're going to deface the mascot, and then we're going to rush home. Um, it'd be kind of funny if he was, like, getting arrested while his girlfriend goes into labor. Oh, my God. All right. Sorry. Had to take another sip of my coffee. Please. Okay, they are in the same taxi. I was like, please tell me you guys are coming home together at the very least. What is she doing? She's admiring herself. She is so self-absorbed. I love it or selfish or whatever it's yeah snob there we go that's what it's called she's a snob for sure and i low-key love it please tell me you're actually going to master the skill like it takes so long to master the freaking skill i hate it oh yeah you need to go back to tending your garden and then when you're done tending your garden then you can take your bath why is my stuff not loading like i hate that I hate having a gray house. Hades starts the mascot's unofficial makeover. Fingers are crossed that no one finds him. I mean, it's literally 4 p.m. on a school day. Of course, someone's going to find him. Um, but also, if you didn't know, having the rebel's trait gives you a higher chance of not being caught. So, the more you know. Oh, no, Hades has been caught. <laughs> well, spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. I really enjoyed myself. We should hang out again soon. All right, you guys are going to go back to jamming because that's what you do. Get over here. Get out of his way. Jeremy just improved his athletic skill to level 10. Hallelujah. Finally. He's two for three mastered. Now we're going to switch over to working on... No, no, no. Don't eat leftovers. We're going to switch over to um, working on his cooking. So he's going to make grilled cheese, firecracker, shrimp, and ratatouille. We're just really going to have the fridge stocked because we do have so many. Oh. Did he get away from the police? Apparently he got away from the police. But we. Oh, no, he did not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You hooligans think you're so clever with these silly pranks. Well, Hidden Springs Finest is here to put an end to it. Come with me now. You know, it'd be kind of funny if their parent was a cop on duty and their parent was the one that arrested them. I know that's not like actually a thing and that doesn't actually happen, but I think it'd be super funny. Um, also, I'm pretty sure Johanna is going to have this baby very late in the day. Like it honestly might go into technically Thursday. Um... But also, the next part is going to be crazy. Willow and Juniper are going to age up. Let me check other birthdays. Haiti has 14. Um, JB and Zeus each have 24. Apollo only has four. And these guys, we only have two more guaranteed days with them, which is so, so, so sad. It's so sad. This is really mean of me. 
and I feel bad that the thought even crossed my mind, but I really hope Ruby makes it at least till Sunday at noon because that's when she gets her payout for all her books. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm horrible, I'm freaking horrible. And I think Hades is gonna go straight to bed because he's extremely tired. Honestly, by the time he gets home, it's probably gonna be like, um, get home, get in bed, and then Johanna is gonna be going into labor, so he's gonna take her to the hospital. So he's probably not getting any sleep tonight, which is really sad. Look at JB, just, she knows, her senses, like she, oh, did he get away with it again? There's no way. Oh my god, can we, can I like make her ground him? See, that's one thing I wish I could do in The Sims. Like, they have grounding, and that's cool and all. But I wish I could... Sorry, I just punched my microphone. Um, I wish I could force my Sims to ground their children. Like, not force, but, like, I wish I could, I could choose when it happens instead of just it happens when the game prompts you to do it. Oh, Zeus is going to do it instead. Oh, the baby's coming. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Boy, you're gonna continue cooking. I do not give two Fs. And I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, he's gonna stop because the baby's coming. Get over here. It's your child. Oh my God, take her to the hospital. Jeez Louise. <clears throat> Jeez la freaking wheeze. All right, get back up here, join the jam session. How close are you? You're not really close at all to improving your skill. You are about halfway. All right, what are you doing? She's playing video games. Girl, I told you to take a shower, actually. What are you doing? And then who's hungry? I think whatever um, Jeremy's making now is what we're going to um, go with. So let me look up God and Goddess names. Oh, well, dude, how did you burn it? You're literally horrible. You're literally level seven, level six. All right, we're throwing that away. And now you're going to make ratatouille. And then when you're done with your shower, just come downstairs. Oh, actually, just kidding. Your baby needs you. And so does your toddler. I mean, your toddler doesn't need you desperately, but... Um, your baby needs everything outside of a diaper change, so we'll play with, we'll give bottle, come on, and we'll snuggle, um, let's see, ooh, okay, I have a good one if it's a girl, okay, I have a girl name and a boy name picked out, so we are good either way. Okay, come on. All right, so then we'll put Juniper back in her crib, and then we'll come over here to Willow. We'll snuggle her, and then we will head downstairs. Did you finish your whole garden? What's your skill at now? Still level seven. Girl, it's gonna take you forever. And these two are not really hungry because they had that modem mobile thing. Also, I wonder, so he's about to have a great grandchild. That's fucking insane. <laughs> he's a young adult. He's a young adult and he's about to have a great grandchild. Will that count towards his grandchildren? Maybe, who knows? Honestly, who freaking knows? It's a boy. Johanna's pregnancy went so well. We'll get to choose two traits. So we are gonna name him, um, Poseidon, and we can call him Pose. Did I spell that right? It's Owen. Okay, we're going to name him Poseidon. Um, that just looks so weird. I'm literally looking at it on my phone compared to where I typed it, and it's the exact same, but it just does not look right. Um, but yeah, his name is Poseidon. We'll call him Pose. Um, and obviously... Oh, he can't get it yet because he's a baby. Obviously, he's going to love water. Like, of course. And actually, I really liked the eccentric one. Um, so we're going to go with that. Well, let me just... Loves the outdoors and eccentric. That's what he's going to be. Please don't be twins. Hold up. Because we have not had twins yet. Okay. 
Zeus just became a grandparent. That's insane. Okay, so hold on. Look at this. With the family tree, we can't even see Jeremy and Ruby yet. That's... I, I, yet. We can't see them anymore. And if we go up one more to be able to see them, then we can't see Poseidon. Oh my god. Insanity, you guys. We have that big of a family. Oh my god. So, Johanna will be leaving the house tonight. She is going to, um, basically she's going to, why did you not take your shower like I told you? Goats, this, it's that freaking absent-minded trait. It's that stupid absent-minded trait. I hate it so much. I hate it so freaking much. I also really love that Hades had a boy because I feel like, um, he just does not take me as a girl mom, uh, a girl mom, a girl dad, like not at all. Okay. So you're going to shower, grab some food, continue this and then go to sleep. We need to go ahead and get a crib for pose. Um, and I think I actually have no idea where it's going to fit in this room. I think we're going to have to move his little athletic thing, which is fine because he honest to god don't think he's ever used it and then we're gonna get him um we will do hmm no we'll do this one and red so it matches the room a little bit I saw, okay, I was like, I saw it work somewhere. I know it's going to work there. All right. So, Hades, go straight to bed. Johanna, you're going to put Poseidon in his crib. You're going to act like everything's fine, but then at night when you are supposed to be going to bed, she's going to move out. She's going to dip. She's going to be like, uh-uh, I'm out of here, goodbye. And how's your cooking skill coming along? You're not quite level seven yet, but that's okay. I'll have you clean this up, use the bathroom, and then you can actually come out here and you can fish on your own lot now. So that's pretty nice. You'll fish until it's time to go to bed. Hades, just go to bed. Just literally go to bed. All right, let's give her some baby food and then eat. Um, I'm actually going to wake Juniper up so she can sleep at night. Um, I don't want her sleeping right now because then she'll be fully rested at about 1 a.m. Um, so we're going to wake her up now. And then when you're done eating, you'll come up here. You will put Willow in her crib. We got three people in cribs all at the same time. Just for one night though, so that's nice. But yeah, you'll put Willow in her crib, and then you'll change Juniper's diaper, snuggle her, play with her, and then you will honestly probably just go to bed as well. Um, you guys are doing really good. You're going to be jamming all night long. Let's see. You're set to wake up at 5 a.m. You're set to wake up at 6 a.m. And the babies are doing great. Poseidon, I'm also going to wake him up now just so he sleeps more so um, overnight as opposed to like now till 2 a.m. Um, just because the baby's energy... Go Why are you in your formal wear? Is she insane? No. Why are you in your formal wear? I'm Confucia. Confucia. Yeah. But then Johanna will be like, oh, you know, uh, Mrs. Walker, don't worry. I will go ahead and do the dishes tonight and put food away. Don't you worry your little head about it. And then that's when she's going to run away. Can you just, I hate when they do this. Eat. And then use the bathroom. And then actually wash your hands too. And then you'll honestly probably just need to go to bed. Yeah, go to bed. You go to bed too. You're getting up at 7.30. You guys are good. You're asleep. You're about to move out. You're being put in your crib. No, ma'am. You need to wake up. You need to wake up. You need to wake up. You're not falling asleep till after we take care of you. Wake up. 
Okay. Is Willow in her crib? Okay, good. <laughs> oh, I'm like so obsessed. I'm like, the babies have to be in their crib. Also, I totally forgot that he has a girlfriend. So, like, who's his girlfriend? Sparkles. Oh, but yeah, he's romantically involved with this girl. Who are you? Jessica. Oh, and he's got multiple exes. Star and Anne. Oh, and then I wanted him to get with Sugar. Okay, yeah, that's right. So I think we're gonna end things with Jessica, get romantic with Sugar, and then we'll leave Sugar for, or we'll leave Sparkles for Sugar. <laughs> ridiculous. Freaking ridiculous. All right. So all the babies are asleep or about to be asleep. You are taking care of that, and then you will head to bed. You are off to bed as well. You guys are doing good. I think you'll just keep jamming until, you'll probably jam like all the way into the night, probably. You're set to get up at 6 a.m. And then she's gonna go ahead and move out within the neighborhood. Does she even have family? No, it's literally just her and her baby. And she's like, honestly, I would rather be completely on my own than in this house any longer. Like, that's how rude she is. So we're going to kick her out. I'm also going to cheat those 3,000 Smolians back into our funds because I realistically don't think she would have taken any money whatsoever. Um, she has no need for money. All right. So Johanna is officially moved out. We have a smaller family again. Super exciting. And I actually just looked at my, um, <clears throat> my little list. I have a... Uh, um, what am I trying to say? I have like written down what's going to happen each day and Johanna wasn't supposed to move out till tomorrow, but it's fine. It's totally fine. One day does not matter whatsoever. Um, I'm going to have you start getting yourself ready for bed and you actually need to eat something. So I will have you do the same. Um, you will eat whatever that is and then use the bathroom and go to bed. So pretty much everyone is going to bed. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. We got generation five, which is really, really exciting. I think this is as far as we're going to get, because like I said, now we only have one more guaranteed day with Jeremy and Ruby. They are guaranteed to live through Thursday, which is today. However, after today like after midnight thursday they could die at any moment and i highly doubt as much as i am hopeful for it i highly doubt they will live long enough for poseidon to even become a teenager let alone become a teenager go through a whole pregnancy and have generation six that's ideal like that's the goal however i do not think it's going to happen but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end this part here i hope you guys all enjoyed little baby poseidon he's so cute i'm so glad we have him um i do kind of wish there was one more girl because every generation has been a boy except the first one um we had persephone persephone yeah persephone then apollo Sorry, I just got like weirded out with her name. And then Zeus, and then Hades, and now Poseidon. So I do kind of wish that a girl would come along um, eventually, but like a girl would be first. I know we have Willow and Juniper, but, um, and then Poppy, Persephone's sister. But still, anyways, I'm rambling at this point. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next one. Bye, guys.